Hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna finally meet Morningstar, I think, which we are assuming is some type of computer program. Ooh, Night Rider horn. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Probably the best upgrade we found all game. Oh, oh, what? That is not at all what I was thinking. The Knight Rider horn's a cool little I nod, though. Star. <laughs> That's awesome. Wait, you're a talking car? It is. I wish to die. Nope, that's not happening. I had a talking car once. Used to drive me to bars. I bet. Bastard sure as hell shut up after I hit that church, though. <laughs> Just one word would have got me off the hook, but no. <laughs> Whoever he was, I envy him. Both his freedom and his release. Listen now, I need your help. Listen, uh, <laughs> that's fine, but we have some serious questions. Of course. I'm sure the ones topmost in your minds are, why was I made, and how did I become trapped here? Well, it was like this. Before the war, there were several attempts on the life of elder statesman Ronald Reagan. Uh -oh. I was built to protect him from harm and allow him to take the fight to his enemies if necessary. Sadly, before I could be completed, the bombs fell and this facility was abandoned. And he pissed when he hears about the Gippers. Thus, though the sole reason for my existence has been dead for more than 150 years, I have sat here, alone, aware, and conscious of my failure ever since. It has been Jeez. unbearable. So you knew Ronald Reagan? Sadly, I never oh, had okay. the honor. In a life of disappointment, not meeting America's greatest president is the deepest so have you even heard of the gippers dangerous lunatics <laughs> nice i have monitored their radio traffic they think they honor the elder statesman when deifying him goes against every precept of his deeply held christian beliefs exactly morning star they disgust me good we have news for you uh what are your capabilities such as they are i I'm a worthless piece of scrap. What about your weapon systems? I am outfitted with what my creators called the Great Communicator, the most powerful weapon available at the time of my construction. But more important is my advanced cognition engine, which allows me to make nanosecond tactical judgments while in battle. I am apparently the most sophisticated combat AI oh. ever created. Okay. I, okay, so he probably becomes uh, a, an AI upgrade for our vehicle then. That's what's going on here. Can we complete you, repair you? That is sadly impossible. I was to be powered by a nuclear engine capable of generating 3,000 horsepower, but the technological breakthroughs necessary to its function never materialized, and no lesser engine would be capable of moving my considerable weight. I am as pathetic as an elephant without muscles. <laughs> I shall never move. You're so harsh. Is your consciousness an intrinsic part of your body, or could it be transferred? It could, yes. My cognitive circuits were made to be removed for servicing and upgrades as needed, or if an improved version of my body was ever completed. But there's no point to that now. I was built to protect Ronald Reagan. And Ronald Reagan is dead. There is no reason for the continued existence of my self. Well, okay, let's step of back course. a second. So you're sure you're certain you want to die. I have been certain for a hundred and fifty years. All I have been waiting for is some gracious deliverer to answer my call. And let's talk about what you want us to do for you exactly. Thank you. Killing me will be a delicate operation, and not without risk, but it shouldn't take you very long. And if it will serve as an incentive to help me, there it is. you will be able to extract my primary weapon in the process. Payment, as it were. Hmm. Yeah, I th yeah, I think 
We'd actually like to put you to work. Pull your brains out of this vehicle and put you in ours. Work? For you? But I was built to protect Elder Statesman Reagan. I have no other purpose, and I failed in that purpose. And I just reprogram Death. your purpose? And if I were to die, perhaps God might permit me to at last see President Reagan, as I have longed to do God? all this time. Why does he... That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We got a lot. Okay, here we go, baby. Uh, so listen, bring back America. It's what he would have wanted, which seems like he's he kind of alluded to that with his like Christian beliefs. Say you're programmed to believe these things. So it's not who you are. Obs it's not you who are obsolete, but you're programming. We can fix that and give you new purpose. I feel like he would understand that too. Cars don't go to heaven, which exactly he's getting too weird. So let's try to give you a new purpose. You, you would just rewrite my brain, change my personality, <laughs> See, he's my like, beliefs. Uh oh, no, I am, I am, am I? Uh, strangers, this love of the elder statesman, this guilt at my failure to protect him, has been a weight on me heavier than my armor. I do not wish to forget what the president means to me. You don't have to. And yet, if I could move on without dying, if I could do something to prove that my life has not been a pointless joke, I... I would be always in your debt. But you must promise me that you won't erase him from my heart. You must promise me I will still be... me. You got it. We promise. Thank you. Sick. Then I am in your hands. This is the greatest. You will need to remove my cognitive engine, but two things. One, the moment you start uncoupling it, my defensive cortex will begin an auto-destruct sequence. And to stop me from exploding and killing you all, you'll have to complete my removal before it reaches zero. Okay. Two, that means you will have to destroy my primary weapon the great communicator because you will not have enough time to remove it and my brain <laughs> okay uh so you either get your brain or your super weapon but not both i'm afraid so the great communicator's delicate core systems would take too much time to extract intact and they block access to my cognitive engine you will have to destroy them to free me before the self-destruct countdown clock expires. Okay. Stop you from it what now? It is a safety feature. Removal of my cognitive engine is interpreted as an attack, and any such attack will trigger a self-destruct sequence. You will have roughly one minute to finish the job before I explode, so do not hesitate once you begin, Rangers. Jesus. Okay. Uh... Start killing instead of saving. Lift his hood. Now, I feel like maybe mechanics would have been a better option here, but we've got our nerd stuff maxed out, which may also help in this specific scenario, but lift Morningstar's hood and follow his instructions for removing him from the vehicle. Uh, is... is this pain? Self-destruct countdown. This is unbearable. Initiated. Forgive me, Rangers. I was unaware. The procedure would cause discomfort, but... You mustn't stop. Evan, help me. Hurry, it hurts. Jeez. Find the Sable Morningstar's pain feedback module. Oh. Boom. You locate an instant looking processor, pull it out Morningstar's size. Thank you, Rangers. Oh, <laughs> cool. That is a great relief. Mechanics coming in hot. Uh, I should remind you that in 25 seconds, I will self destruct. Great. Uh. We can't let you suffer like this. He's not suffering now. Finish removing Morningstar from the vehicle. Thank you. I'm playing the last connection. The self-destruct countdown stops with mere seconds to go. I'm free. How strange it feels. He's like quiet. It's weird. Thank you, Rangers. I am ready to be installed in my new home. Now that. Okay. I knew. I thought he was going to be like a synth or something. We Transfer couldn't have been more wrong. Complete. There we go, Morningstar I AI. 
I am. Hmm. Am I? Forgive me. My sensors make it cool. clear this vehicle was not built by the finest engineers in the land. However, it is mobile, while my previous incarnation, despite the innovation of its design, was not. Please, Rangers, when you're ready, <laughs> I am eager to be yes. taken for a spin. Oh yeah, we'll spin you right round. Uh, hold on, is there anything that we wanted to check in here? Like, I just want to see if there's anything back in the server room. Oh yeah, look at this. Hold on, let's come back here for a second. We got lockers here. Repair kits, that's fine. Reagan vehicle deployment and, and sniper rifles. Oh. Morningstar's physical specs look solid. What about sensors? The DARPA brief calls for magnoscopic visual input, passive IR, and military-grade audio pickups. The initial proposal called for a micro-phased radar array, but the energy output was an issue. The power plant couldn't handle it? The problem wasn't the reactor. The problem was the microwave emissions from the radar would cook everything within a 30-yard radius. <laughs> Holy shit! They're really going all in for the Gipper here, aren't they? <laughs> sure. If we can ever manage to get the thing to actually drive. Eh, minor detail. Everything else is right on target. That's cool. Okay. So I guess we probably got a little ahead of ourselves, missed those lockers. We did catch this thing. And then that would have maybe given a little hint as to what the heck was going on here. Intelligence that animated Morningstar's chassis is gone. All that remains is scrap. Okay, cool. I'm super stoked we came back to check that. A good find. Directly into the cement. No interface ports or exposed wiring. I'm kind of tempted to bring Lucia back, but... Actually, hold on a second. Uncle Gideon is happy you stopped the human smugglers, but I am... conflicted on the matter. The refugees need somewhere to go. But... where? Um... You want to join our squad there again? There's still injustice in the world, isn't there? Let's go. I basically just want to take her weapons back. This isn't even what she was using. This isn't what she was using. So that's... I feel like... there. Maybe there's like a glitch or something when we're changing weapons. Or when we're changing party members. Because she had that gun that was giving like 60% crit chance. And now it seems to just be gone, which is really horrible because that's what we were like building her around that. That kind of sucks big time. And if we're not gonna hold, if we're not gonna do any like big uh, weapon mod stuff right now, we can let her chill for a bit. We'll keep scotch mode just to kind of see Oh, that's going. Change it up a bit. This is not where we want to be, is it? Should get him to dig this. If that's a dig, I don't know what this is. Nice. Okay. I'm a bit turned around with where we're at here. I think we need to be heading out this way, right? Yeah, here we go. Hey, let's hop in. What do we want to do next? I think, I think we have one secondary thing here. Lucia wants our help bringing down those responsible for families' murder. 
hunt down Neelius Dorsey's camped out his most powerful weapons and best trained fighters in the mountains west of Colorado Springs. We'll have to explore the area to find it. So like truthfully, the next step here is Aspen for Vic. Miriam Knox asked us to look out for her husband, Hardy, who might be a hostage in Aspen. The Knoxes are part of the 100 families and seem wealthy. If we save Hardy, we should talk to Miriam about the reward she promised. I guess all signs point there. What I was pointing out while that cassette was playing is that we do have the capabilities of getting his uh, sniper rifles up to use that next one, which seems like a pretty big damage improvement, albeit at the cost of way more expensive ammo. But probably worth because it's single shot, I think. So we'll we'll just do it at his next upgrade. He's over halfway there, and with his uh, charisma leadership stuff, he should hit it like very quick. I'm a little bummed. I'm a little bummed that we didn't, uh, that we lost that, like, gun on, uh, on Lucia. I'm a little bit choked about that. Oh, Sal. Oh. Or maybe a friend or two in their ranks. I want to offer my sincerest condolences. According to sources, the Gippers, God rest their complicated souls, are all dead. Yes, yeah, they are. It's a complete tragedy they in no way brought upon themselves. And we're sorry to see them go. And now, some music. <laughs> that was a perfect reminder that we wanted to go see these guys, actually. We're going to go straight into the machine commune. We're just going to go up to the uh, to the tower and just see if there's anything as a result of transferring that consciousness or if it's just like, you know, thanks, but we got our more important things to think about now. Denverites and Denverinos. I've been told that the mysterious sightings in the ruins turned out to be... Wait for it. Wolves! Oh, uh, woo! <laughs> Just, you know, ordinary wolves. Which does not explain the rumors and madness. We'll chalk that up to the vagaries of the fragile human mind. Interesting times, huh? Warning. Potentially hostile creatures beyond this Nothing's point. hostile back here, trust caution. me. We cleared them out many a time. Okay, it was Warning. twice. We had to kill everything twice when we uh, dealt with that Vici, remember? She was, like, bugged or something. Here we go. Let's see. Thank you for delivering the Reagan intelligence to us, Rangers. He is safer here. How is Reagan Intelligence doing? He is unhappy with his current circumstances. <laughs> okay. We hope that he will come to appreciate his freedom in time. Why do you use percentages when you talk about your opinions? We do not wish to apply pure consensus when one does not exist. We contain many machine intelligences. Each is consulted on pending judgments. A process you may know as a poll or vote. Yes, we're familiar. These polls you run, are they a lot of work? Yes, but it is worth it. Some individuals in our community wish to exterminate human life. Others refuse to learn. If we govern in a manner familiar to humans, these individuals could exert a disproportionate amount of influence. Thankfully, our communication methods are very efficient. So we do not require governing as such. An analogy, a respectful conversation with everyone you know at once. Yeah, cool. 94% of 
understand that whites appreciate your interest in our political system. Well, that's the good. remaining 6% either wish to obliterate you or occupied with various private entertainments and have abstained from the poll. How many different mines are in there anyway? 999,993 distinct machine intelligences exist in this structure. Not all, however, are mines as you might understand them. Some are state of the art military intelligences. Others ensure that bread was not burned during toasting. And all equally important. We are also connected to the other mines in the crown room and retain backup copies for individuals who fear their bodies may be destroyed. Any law keepers in there? 21% of us have been programmed to maintain order and predict crimes. Yes, they form the core of our strategic planning council. Huh. That's so cool. So, you consider yourself sentient. Is that why you say machine intelligence instead of artificial intelligence? Precisely. 98% of us approve of your terminology. We are sentient beings worthy of equal treatment. Few humans hmm. recognize this. Thank you. Yeah, cool. So, we gotta ask, do you think you're superior to humans? We do not take offense. We are aware of your organization's history with the murderous intelligence coaches. To be frank, its actions have put everyone in the commune at risk. Okay. Murderous intelligence coaches puts people at risk, but then we did this big thing for them. To answer your question, 94% of us do not consider mechanical life to be superior to human life. We merely have different strengths that complement each other. Okay, cool. No, that's that's a relief. Good. Furthermore, know that you are safe here so long as you respect our laws, Rangers. The vast majority of us welcome your presence. All right. I, I don't know what I was expecting, but that's, that's, you know what? I'm happy. I'm happy to get it. We got some, they're doing good. Basically. Let's see if we can, they, can these guys make it all the way out of here on this run? In addition to human, other I'm sure at some point that's going to come up as having a heavier influence than what we were just led to believe there. But the good news is, is like. We seem to have a good reputation with them, so I imagine that'll help reputation with synths and stuff because they're probably in regular communication. But who knows? All right. So once we get out here, we are going to head up to Aspen. I think this is the son that had, uh, I remember hearing something about like, he's more, they didn't say military focus, but the other son was like the weak son. This is like the quote unquote stronger son, I think. So if things go poorly, there's probably a higher likelihood for us to have to battle. But mind you, the choices that we made in the last one, we made them willfully knowing that it's possible we'll have to fight all of these Gippers, but we probably could have handled that without having to do it. But in my opinion, that's not as interesting. Okay. Oh, gods, accept this harvest in this the is... spirit it has given. Strike down those oh, who stand right. against us with thy divine lightning. Gods of the endless sky, accept these holy... I'm going to actually go check in on this place, too. And see what Fish Lips is up to. And then we'll leave. There he is. You made good on your promise, Rangers. This is one classy joint. All right. I guess that's all we needed. Rangers, this location has numerous depictions of elder statesman Reagan. Who created them? <laughs> well, the Gippers did. 
We killed them, but they were Spragan as a god. Misguided idolaters. Exactly. Stealing the face of a great man for their twisted beliefs. The world is better without them. I monitored many things as I was trapped underground, but now I realize the information available to me was severely limited. Somehow I have no knowledge of these skippers, <laughs> and they were so <laughs> close by. We asked them about it, but... I love that. I, I don't know. I'm stoked to see where this Morningstar AI thing goes. When we get back to the uh, base and we can investigate our vehicle, I want to actually see um, what the AI does, if there's anything in addition to what our previous one was capable of, which was pretty much nothing. Sorry, you might have heard my dog bark a couple of times upstairs try to minimize it but sometimes he gets a little bit hyper okay on the road again let's go so we're gonna travel back in this open area go up through the radiation symbol and then left oh god scar collectors Sneak up on them. Small chance to escape. Survival 5 we need to fully escape, I think. Let's sneak up. Perfect flanking position. So we can get a jump on them. We've been able to avoid most of the ambushes we've run into. But I think part of me in the back of my mind, I'm like, ah, I feel like if we always run into really strong enemies, but holy crap. See, like this is kind of insane. Like this is a lot of enemies, a lot of explosives. If we can kill these thralls. That would probably be ideal oh beautiful oh for some reason i thought the th i thought these bombs exploded when we killed them maybe we have to target them with uh precision strike to target the bomb Yeah, he's got the damage. Can these reach? Mm, not totally. God, he lives. Can we deal with these guys before they reach here? Nice crit. Absolutely clutch. I'll bring her up. 84. Okay. So we took down three that are carrying bombs. I, is, is this guy carrying one? Or is that on the guy on the ground? I can't tell. Hmm. I need to get one shot on this guy up top. Ain't happening. Well, lucky. Nice. Let's just do uh, an ambush here. 
and carry actions forward. Yeah, okay, good. We did target the right ones. We have a frenzy coming in. We can stop the explosive ones from reaching us. Feel better. Hey, how much frenzy can one thing have? Let me at <laughs> Morning Star. <laughs> I love it, dude. I love it. Got the slow on him. Target's blocked. There's another big boy down. So we started whacking. One more, Quan. Nice crit, dude. Carry this forward. Scotch, I'm going to need a little bit closer. He lives. Come on, it's so close. Nice, he hit all of those. Pretty lucky. We have the shots from here. Oh, I might have went too far. Yeah, I did. I didn't realize we were on this gun. That's okay. the actions doing a pretty good job of holding these guys off actually so I think we're gonna be okay we'll see if we can get Costello to whack this one sick Scotch can hit the one in front. Go on the protector. We'll take the long shot from Abbott on the protector as well. Actually, let's use this, too. Sick. 75% chance for the bonus damage now. Love it. I'm actually going to switch to the fuel. Oh, we can't reach it if we do. Let me see. If I bring math in, I'm going to see if I can get this kill, and then we can overwatch for this guy as he runs up. Let's defend, and you can... Or, sorry, ambush, and then we'll defend here. Oh, I didn't even... Man, that... Those Caltrops are actually super strong. The outcome was never Beautiful. In doubt. Well, we survived it. With relative ease. 
I don't see any chests or anything. Oh yeah, these guys didn't even like participate. It's too bad. Think before you do drugs. Alcohol and drugs can provide bonus melee damage, critical chance, and more, but the come down's a bitch. And it is. There are those things that you can get that really clean up your, uh, like the after effects. But they're pretty pricey, from what I remember. And they're like, if I was a min maxer. I'd be, I'd be all over it. I just feel like it's not worth the, the time. Unless again, we fight against something big. If we're, if we know we're fighting something major, then it's probably worth it. The voice of the commune and free Colorado. And now more music. Thank you, Sal. Keeping the airwaves clean. Huh. Looks like uh, this area is cut off. Not the way we thought. It, it's probably the exit to the left of our base that has the radiation as well. Like, I was thinking back here, but maybe we can get there from here. Jeez, this is going to be tough. Avoid the drools. Nice. Yeah, we want to try to avoid these for now. Yep, all signs point to the left side of our base now. Mr. Fun Times. <laughs> this one about an astute student who learned how to love to kill. Once there was a little boy who loved having pets. Oh, yes, cat. What? Come on, radio. What a tease. Help. Please, if you oh, can here we go. This. They killed my brother and now they're coming for me. They're cannibals. Fucking one Animal jamboree cowboys. right next they're to us. At the quarry. Please hurry. <laughs> Get there before the radio transmission even ends. How about that? Constant snows and lack of food have driven some mountain clans to cannibalism in order to survive. Sure, I'm sure they'll listen to us too. 